Peace family. What's good? Send the guys in the way. And today I'm here to talk about the Zen theory. Now, my theory is what is totality? Now, most people theorize that the universe is confined by space and time. Therefore, any particle, any chemical, any molecule has to be confined by space and time. Neutrons, neurons, stars, all of these elements in the physical space-time continuum has to be controlled by space and time. But here's the thing. They are saying that space and time is three-dimensional. Explain gravity and explain the existence of other planets outside of the realm. You can't tell me that everything in the whole totality is three-dimensional. How are you going to tell me that the world or the universe is three-dimensional if there isn't such thing as black holes? Explain that. So, what is this three-dimensional paradigm? So what was New not Newton? What was Einstein thinking? What was Einstein thinking when he theorized this? How can there be a motherfucking three-dimensional existence if everything is on a code in a sequence? Look, look at my hands. Now explain three dimensions if numbers exist. How can, how is this a three dimensional world if we can compute on a computer? So then it has to be a lie. Explain a computer. So that tells you that this reality is not three dimensional and is not controlled by space and time. Because explain the existence of a computer or gravitational fields such as magnets, light, is that controlled by space and time? If not, then why are we theorizing on this? Via space and time doesn't exist. So, therefore, we are not going linear. So, if we are not moving this way, explain the sensation of linear time. How can you, comp how can you give us the notion of linear time if computers aren't controlled by linear time. Computers seem to be controlled by human consciousness. So explain linear time if we need time zones. Somebody is lying. Why the fuck do we need time zones if everything is linear? Explain the theory of time zones. So therefore, who constructed the notion of time? How was time theorized if we need different time zones? So who has been telling us that time exists? Therefore, time is nothing. It's simply used to compute motion. But now we have to look at motion. Then we got to look at totality. What is totality in a... What is totality? Listen, the Zen theory is... Could this reality be comprised of different realities via different sizes? And are we living in an infinite computation? Basically this. Imagine planet Earth is the size of a grain on another planet. And everything is fractions and everything is a, co is a code. And it's a Fibonacci sequence. So therefore, reality has to be multi-existing. What if planet Earth was a grain? on a beach on another planet and that planet was a grain on a beach and another planet so then again theorize the infinite theory so now when we look at our reality cells are infinite now do cells have existence because if cells spiral like planet if, if cells spirals like planets who are you to tell me that there are not extraterrestrials living in molecules there has to be space aliens living in molecules there has to be existence there has to be existence living in molecules there has to be existence living in molecules therefore I feel that there are 
entities that live within subtle signs of nature. For example, this is a kingdom. They call it the animal kingdom for a reason. You see, they'll give you the signs. We were watching the movies of beings that live under our feet. This is a planet. There are entities. See, size is all comparisons. We can find life so small that there can be a whole solar system within here. Because I believe the ancestors says, as is above, so is below. So now we got to theorize how can we find a solution to as is above, so is below. If we can use this computation that the ancient Egyptians left, how can we find the answer to this equation? Therefore, can we minimize or can we maximize our existence? And if that's the question, then how is the gravitational field on their point of living? Is gravitation, is gravity different in other perspectives? Are there entities living in this tree on other perspectives? And if so, what is composed of these living entities? What is composed within this structure? For example, this is a mosquito. Now, when it comes to logistics, we gotta be wary that we're not aware of what we are aware of. We're aware that there are things living, but we're not aware of what we are aware of. Who's to not say there's consciousness and living entities right under my feet? And if so, how can we find the trace and compute a line between these living entities. Basically, if this is the Zen theory, if this is the grain theory, right? And I'm living in existence within another existence. Who's to say we can't connect to this existence? Who's to say that the space-time continuum is nothing but a riddle to be solved by us? Being confined by space and time it's not really being confined by space and time. It's being confined by a mentality that space and time existed. You see, we gave ourselves the notion that space and time existed. If we never had that notion in the first place, we wouldn't be in this fucking mess. But then we got to get to the fucking physical problems. We got mm, to fucking deal with the fucking political problems too. So, meanwhile, we got to find the fucking answer to the space-time continuum. Then we got to fucking deal with the political science. We got to fucking deal with the people. Mass migration. How the fuck can we theorize all this while keeping everything under balance? The question is, every man for himself. How the fuck can we theorize this shit? How the fuck can I theorize all of these notions? Because when you look at this as is above, so is below, it's telling you that there's different realities. But how the fuck do we rip past this shit? How the fuck do I rip past the continuums? Look at this shit. It's talking to me. It's talking to me. It's giving me a sign that there's multi-dimensions within this dimension. So something is fucking telling me that we can rip this fucking continuum. Is it speed? Is it the elements? Is it the astral work? Is it voodoo? Is it rockets? Is it meditation? Is it the diet? Ponder, ponder, ponder. Or could reality be a simulation like they say? But now explain this. If a reality is a simulation, somebody had to create the computer to simulate the reality. So that notion right there fails. That notion can't be computed. Because if reality is a simulation, that means somebody computed it. So we got to throw that notion out the way. It's not a computer simulation. 
God didn't create this. I still don't know the answer and I'm pondering at it, but I think the theory of multi-level existence based on the infinite equation of fractions is a, is a beautiful theory. But now how do I put all this into framework? It's pen and paper. Pen, I need pen and paper and you gotta look at how things interact with each other. What happens when I slap my hands together? How does, if it's, it's as is above, so is below. If I slap through, if I hit two rocks together, how do these rocks interact? And how does that create my reality? And I do some experiments. If I throw a rock in the water, how does the reality die? Oh! Oh shit! Eureka! 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 